Having seen the basic ways of interacting with our Elasticsearch cluster, let us quickly see some basic examples of Elasticsearch. I will head back over to Kivana at localhost 5601. And these are the basic examples that we will see for this time, adding a document, retrieving a document, updating documents, and searching for documents. Let me quickly send the get alias rest call to see what all aliases are there in my system. And these are all the, ali all the indices in my system. Now my very first task here is going to be that I am going to create a new document, but a document can always reside within an index. At this point of time, just for the sake of a crude analogy, you can assume that a index is like a table in a relational database, while this document is like a row in this database. We won't be explicitly creating an index over here because when we say create a document, then it automatically creates the index for us if that index does not already exist. So to create a document, I will have to send a post call, create a document with ID of one. I will have to send a post call and let me just call this index as user. And the API path that I need to hit is underscore create and then I will give the document ID. Then in the form of JSON, I hope everyone is familiar with the JSON data format, JavaScript object notation. I can give the contents of this document whose ID is one. So let me just quickly say that name is something like Jake and the person's job description is that this person is a software developer. Yeah. Let us quickly analyze what's going on over here. We are telling Elasticsearch by means of this post rest request that in the index called user, you have to create a document, a document ID one, where the name is Jake and the job description is software developer. Let us see what happens when I click on send request. And it tells me that result is created and version of the document is one as well as ID is one. It also tells me that index is user. So essentially our document is created. The ID is one and these are the fields. Now what happens when I send the same post request again? It causes a, an error. Version conflict engine exception document already exists. And what this error essentially means is that this given document that is document ID one already exists in version one. So it cannot create it again because while creating it will give it a version of one. Let us also see what happens when I click on get underscore alias. And here we can see that our index called user has been created. And this index does not have any aliases as of now. Now let us quickly try to retrieve this document that we just created, this entire document. Uh, so we will say get, so we will send a get call in the user index and we will tell them to return us the document with the ID of one. And when I click send, so we can see that index is user, type is document, ID one, version one, and we can see the source. So this represents our document and we can see that name is Jake and job description is software developer. So in this way, we have retrieved this document by ID, which, which we had just created previously. Now what I will do here is I will create an other user in the Elasticsearch backend and the ID will be two and maybe his name could be Hannibal and he is going to be our product manager. 
so when i click on send request we see that it is created id i see the index and so on what i want to do next after installing sorry after inserting two records into the index i want to get the total count of docs in the index so for this i am going to send another get request to the user index where i seek the count and when i send this request i see that the count of the documents in this user index is set to 2 because it has two documents as of now now suppose i want to delete this document from our search index which is document id 2 so i can simply say delete user which is our index name and i can say document and the document id that i wish to delete is number 2 so i will send this request and we can see that the document with id 2 has been deleted now let us try to update a particular user's record or document so suppose i want to promote jake from software developer to software developer 2 so how do i do that i just simply say post i send a post request and our index is going to be user and i say underscore doc and then i give the document id which i know is one for jake and then i give the document json and i change software developer to software developer 2 and when i send this request it says that result is updated okay that's great now let us get this document of id 1 and we can say that jake is now software developer 2 but what happens if i miss out on a certain field so if i cut this from here and remove this and send this request again it says updated but when i try to retrieve this record i see that the job description of jake is entirely missing so what this shows us is that whenever we are even updating a document we have to send along all the fields so i send them along again and then i retrieve this document and i see that the name is jake and job description is software developer 2. next we will try to search for a few things here so let us try to search for a person named jake in our elastic search index so i say get and then i say underscore search and then i will say question mark and the search query will be jake so here i send the request and i see that we have some data and we have a few hits in which the total we have one hit and these are the hits and we can see that we have a record in which the name is jake and the job description is software developer 2. what i'll do here again is that let me promote jake again to the position of product manager and then i update jake's position and now when i search for jake i see that his job description is product manager what happens when i search for the term product so what this shows us is that this query is not only searching on the name field but also on the job description field uh, if you're wondering why we did not get this record let me remind you that we had deleted this record and now we have only one record in our system so if i quickly insert this record back again and then i search for the query product then i can see that i have two results right here let us now suppose that our jake has become the vice president and let us promote him again and it's updated and you can see the version number is increasing for this document and what happens if i search for product now yes i get only hannibal as product manager suppose now i want to do the search only on the field of name i can say 
name colon jake and i can send this request and i see that i get the record of jake but then someone might say that there you know there is only one jake in the system so what we'll do here is we'll create one more record and we'll call it its id as three we will call him as jake the junior and he'll be a product manager so let's create this record and now what happens when i search for the name jake i get two records and it's searching only on the name field as of now and to prove that let me just say job description over here and then let me give ask the system for the query jake again and we can see that there are no records as such finally we will do a small cleanup where we get rid of this newly created index where is the aliases command yes so this user index we'll be totally getting rid of it so for that i just say delete user and i run it acknowledged is true and when i get all the aliases i cannot see the user alias right here and that's going to be it for this time and i hope you had a lot of fun exploring these basic examples of elasticsearch and i highly encourage you to try these out yourself and to really play around with them we will try to explore them in more depth in our upcoming videos if you found the content of this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up and if you find the content of my channel helpful please click subscribe and you can hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates thanks a lot for watching